So I'm sure you're watching this video because you probably got a message on your iPhone or maybe even your iPad saying that you have run out of storage. You go to your settings, you look at your storage totals, and you notice that something called Other has literally eaten all of your storage up. If you don't know how to get to see where your storage is, all you gotta do is go to your settings app, you go to general right here, and you just go down to iPhone storage. And when you go to iPhone storage, you're gonna see in here a kind of little bar chart-ish thing, a little color coded, but it basically breaks down how much storage each thing on your phone is taking up. So we see here, we have apps, photos, system, messages, and there it is, other. Now the other storage is usually all the way uh, to the right here, this light gray bar. And you can see in my case that other storage appears to be taking up almost the same amount as my applications are. Now if you want to know the exact amount that your other storage is taking up, you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page and you can see down here that in my case right now my other storage is taking up 9.7 gigs of my overall iPhone storage. Now you might be looking at this and thinking wow that's kind of crazy but yours may be much higher than that. I've seen these on my personal devices as high as 20-ish gigabytes so it can get out of hand pretty quickly. You also see the system storage right here. Now so the difference between system and other, your system is basically iOS files. So files that iOS has to have in order for everything to work properly. So if you go in here, you can actually see that it says system version 14.6. So this is all the files to make iOS version 14.6 work properly. There's nothing you can do about this, and this only gets bigger. But your other storage is different, so uh, it's kind of weird because there's really no set in stone way to delete your other storage. It's not like you can just tap on this and go into a menu and it says, hey, here is everything that's in your other, would you like to delete some of it? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a few ways that you could possibly minimize your other storage and get your iPhone storage back. So if we go into the other storage, it actually kind of tells us what it makes up. So it says caches, logs, and other resources in use by the system. And this value will fluctuate according to system needs. Now, basically, caches is your biggest problem. So the system and applications use cache all the time to make things load quicker. So here are four ways that you can minimize this other storage. First thing here is Safari. So Safari, if we go into our Safari settings and we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we see a button that says clear history and website data. We also see this advanced section down here at the bottom. If we go into there, we then see website data right up here. And if you go into there, your website data might have some items in it. Now for most people it probably does. In my case, it does not. So website data could be part of your other storage. This is basically storing all the cookies and tracking things from websites when you browse on Safari. The other day I was helping somebody with their device and their website data was a total of 2.1 gigabytes. So it's very important to periodically go in here and actually clear this out. So you can clear website data by itself. You just hit edit and then you can delete it. Or you can hit the clear history and website data, which will delete your search history and your website data altogether. Now I don't have any website data on my devices because I don't like people tracking me. And the easiest way to do that on an iOS device is to just use private browsing. So private browsing doesn't remember any of your logins or cookies or anything like that. So if you use private browsing, that's a good way to not cause that data to stack up on you. The second way would be to offload individual applications. So if you go into your app store settings, and you can scroll down here to the bottom that says offload unused apps. Now why would you want to do that? Well, the reason why is because of that cache. So if your apps are offloaded, that cache will no longer uh, be there taking up your storage. And if you were curious to see what an individual application storage was taken up, again, we go back into our iPhone storage and you could see your individual apps. 
Now here's a good example of cash. So if we take a look at Twitter, we notice that Twitter is 1.59 gigabytes. Well, that's not really the case because Twitter's just not that big. The reason why it's this large is because it's caching my uh, Twitter feed. So it's remembering my pictures and things just to make loading processes faster. So you can go into these apps and you can offload them and that can help free up your other storage as well. The third thing here would be the nuclear option. If you just cannot get this to go down whatsoever, you could erase your iPhone. So again, you can go into general, you can go down to the bottom where it says reset, and you can erase all your content and settings. Now it's very important, of course, to back up your device first so you can restore it. But if you erase everything, it'll erase all the cache and you should be good to go. And the fourth option is one that you might not like to hear, but you do have the option to just wait. So I know this is annoying to see this taking up this much space, but I will tell you a quick story here. So on my 7th gen iPad, when I first got that device, I restored it from backup and I guess something got stuck in the other storage because my other storage was 20 something gigs, like I mentioned earlier. And I have a 32 gig iPad. So the other storage was like all the way over here. And eventually, once the iPad completely filled up, it deleted itself. So you could just wait for it to eventually delete itself too. But yeah, guys, that's four options for you. Uh, with your other storage there, maybe you can figure something out to help your situation. But anyways, that was a real quick video for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.